Hello guys, I need your opinion on something, my new experiment. So now you will see a 3 minute video about routing for beginners in Laravel. And I feel the need for such shortened video about the main first things they need to know. Because if you open any Laravel documentation page, at the very beginning it feels pretty overwhelming with a lot of syntax options, so you wouldn't even know which ones you would use most of the time. So please watch those three videos and tell me. Should I continue with these summary videos? I'll probably put them on the website laraveldaily.com as a part of the roadmap. So here in the roadmap, there are a lot of separate topics and many of them deserve, I think, summarized version, like the topic explained in two, three minutes. Let's discuss in the comments below. This is Laravel homepage, represented by welcome.blade.php file. So if you have a static page represented by just Blade, you can point to it with route get URL, for example, welcome, and a callback function that returns the Blade view. So now if we go to slash welcome, it will show the same welcome Blade. But for static Blades, there's a shorter way, just route view, and then you provide the URL, for example, w for welcome and the blade file and now our welcome would not work would show 404 but our w route would show welcome blade next case if your blade has some dynamic data from the database represented by the url parameters like slash user slash one but in the blade you want to show the user name queried from the database so in the routes you pass the parameter with this syntax and you point that route to the controller and its method that controller method has to have a parameter with the same name and then you perform the database operation and return the view with passing the data like this. Also Laravel allows a shorter syntax for these cases which is called route model binding. So instead of passing the ID you provide that this should be user model variable called user then in the routes you provide that it's user variable name and then you don't need to call find or fail that user is filled in automatically. It's also important to add names to routes like in this case, which allows you to reference that URL with route name in the links, in the redirects and elsewhere in your project. So here's an example of two links. This is without route name and this is with route name. So if at some point you decide to change the URL throughout all your project, you would have to do a lot of manual changes in all Blade files and elsewhere. Also, as you can see, it doesn't have IDE autocomplete, so it's easier to make mistakes. That's why it's better to assign routes and use them everywhere. Next, if your controller represents the full CRUD or so-called resource with index, create, update, and delete actions, you can put the route to it with only one line, route resource, and then Laravel takes care of of route names automatically and also route model binding is working like this in show edit and update and destroy methods finally important to understand route groups and middleware so here's an example from laravel breeze starter kit you may group a few of the routes into route group and assign middleware auth and you can create separate groups within the same routes web file or separate those into a separate. As in case of Laravel Breeze, they separated that into routes auth file with separate route groups and middlewares. The final note is about API routes. So if you're working with API project with Laravel, you need to run PHP Artisan install API, which would activate the routes API file. So this is our routes API. This was generated by Laravel and this is our custom route and it returns JSON. And what you need to understand is that API by default is prefixed with slash API. So we send and we get that response. So whatever you put inside of routes API should be prefixed by default with slash API. So these are, in my opinion, the main things that you need to know about Laravel routing. For everything else and all the other syntax options, read Laravel documentation.